So as most of you know by now, one of my favorite things to do with this channel is put together farming videos showing you how to pick up certain things in the game. Now right now there happens to be a little bit of confusion in regard to the chill out mask, as over the last few days I've gotten a lot of messages asking is it still available to farm for in the open world? The answer is yes my friends, so in today's video as we roll into the weekend I'm going to show you where you need to go to pick it up and in my opinion why you want to get as many as you can. What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and one thing I want to make sure I mention as I start this video off is nothing has changed in regard to farming this mask. So if you already have a bunch of different copies that you're good with, you do not need to watch this video. Also if you know where the Loot Goblin is, you do not need to watch as well. This is for people who have been trying, haven't been able to pick it up. Now what I'm going to highlight are three different areas on the map that you can hit up to try to find this mask. Now there happen to be other details I want to go over as well. However, I'm going to show you the locations first. Now the first one, you fast travel to Jefferson Trade Center. Once you load into the game, you're going to make a left-hand turn and go towards this sewer. This is one of two places he can pop out in this area. Now you can see I did get the chill out mask. And you can also see I didn't clear out my inventory before I started farming, so I had to do that in the middle of a battle. Don't be that person. Make sure you have inventory space when you actually farm, my friends, which probably most of you do. But again, I'll be a cautionary tale. Don't do what I just did. Now the first thing I recommend doing in this game anytime you get something you want go into your inventory mark that item as a favorite that way you cannot accidentally delete the thing I've done that before and it totally sucks now what I do is this every single time I encounter the loot goblin what I then do is completely log out of the game and log back in and go back to that same area over and over and again I'm showing you three different spots we're going to highlight that one once again but in my experience logging out and logging in is the best way to reset everything to ensure that you do have the best opportunity to have the loot goblin show up. Now going back to Jefferson Trade Center, as I mentioned in the first attempt, he's going to spawn in one of two places, either this first location which you saw a moment ago out of the sewer cover which we're going over to right now, or if you turn and go towards the end of this bus right here, there's another sewer cover, and by this point, if he were to spawn there, you would have seen him before you got to the end of the bus. Now clearly he wasn't there, and if that's the case, I bounce to the next location. Now the next spot I'm showing you is the Grand Washington Hotel. And this one has really been a hit or miss spot for me. However, I want to make sure I show you all of the places in which I did see the Loot Goblin spawn. So when you get to this location, you're going to make a 180, go towards the control point. If he is going to spawn, you'll see him pop out of the sewer here. And once again, like before, take them out, pick up the loot, rinse and repeat. Now, there are a few important details I want to go over as we make our way to the third, and in my opinion, the best location you can farm. First of all, the loot goblin can drop one of three items. It can be the O'Carroll Marksman Rifle, it could be the Slayer SMG, or it could be the Chill Out Mask, which is what we are looking for now. Now, none of these areas give you a better chance of getting one or the other. However, the one spot I'm showing you right here by DZ South, you load into the game, make a left he's going to pop up in one of actually three locations and I'll show you all the examples but this is by far the best area to farm in my opinion for the loot goblin because this seems to be the most consistent spot where he shows up now again you can see here I didn't get the chill out mask however in about 10 attempts he showed up I think six out of ten times which is absolutely perfect so for a lot of you out there I think one of the main reasons you were doubting whether the chill out was still in the loot pool was because you may see the loot goblin but he's dropping everything but the chill out. You're seeing the O'Carroll Marksman Rifle, you're seeing the Slayer. I'm here to tell you my friends, look, this footage is from today, January 6th, and you'll see once again on this run, I did get a chill out mask. But that brings me to a very important point, and that is everything about this game is RNG. So you may be, you know, you're seeing me pick up this stuff here, but what you're not seeing is that I edited out the five, six attempts when I loaded into the game, and he was not at any location whatsoever. So the key to this, my friends, is consistency. This third spot, once again, in my opinion, is by far the most consistent location in which I've seen him spawn. I've heard that from a lot of you out there. You can see on this run, he did pop out of a sewer cover a little further back. And there's actually a third place he can pop out from as well. I'll show you that in a moment. And one thing I want to remind you is, like I said a moment ago, consistency 
is key. So for me, I may get three attempts in a row where he shows up, but then attempts four through nine, there's nothing whatsoever. He just, I just keep, you know, loading in, loading out, loading into the game, loading out, going back and forth. And eventually he will show up. So my friends stay consistent and you will get what you're looking for. One more thing I want to mention as I wrap this thing up is that the difficulty that you choose will not have an effect whether the loot goblin shows up or not. It will have a direct impact on the quality of the loot that you get. But for those of you that play on challenging, you have just as much of a chance as showing up at these locations as those of you that play on heroic. He can pop up on normal as well. So again, it will affect the loot quality, but will not have any impact on the odds of him actually being there. With all that being said, my friends, I'm going to start to wrap this up. However, as always, I want to take a moment and thank you all for your amazing support of this channel and remind you if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please let me know and I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. Now, for those of you that have been at this channel for a while, you probably know, I'm sure you noticed, at the beginning of the video, my intro was a little bit different. I talked a bit, then dropped in that little video, and then went on. Let me know what you think in the comments section. I'm trying out new things. You know, one thing I talked about in my live stream earlier today, and in case you missed that, I will leave a link to it in the video description down below, but there's this is going to be a great year for the Division franchise. In my opinion, there's so much I'm looking forward to, and I cannot wait to share it with you, my friends. On that note, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out. However, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor really quick and hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.